Hey guys, my name is Nick. I'm a Microsoft Certified Expert Administrator. I create a lot of content for MSPs. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to block external access to Microsoft Teams. So by default here in the Teams Admin Center, this is on to allow this external sharing with members and other Skype for Business members as well too that are outside your organization. So I want to make a couple of different changes and show you those in real time. So I'm logged into the admin portal here. I want to go into the org wide settings and click on external access. See by default here, they are turned on. And so what I would recommend is actually turning these off. And down below here, you can whitelist certain domains of which you can allow users to collaborate with in their Teams chat. So what I would do here is I would make sure that this is something that again flows through an approval process to get to you so that you approve this and could eventually turn it off after a certain amount of time. Or maybe you just have trusted organizations that you do business with all the time and want to give them the ability to chat and share documents within the team channel itself. So if I pop into an end user portal here, I could begin to type in the name of a external user to my domain. And it's one of the ones that I whitelisted here. So you'll see it's searching, but it's saying I don't find it internally in our internal directory. So search externally. And then once I do, it does allow me to pull this person up so that I could chat with them. Otherwise, if I type in a domain that is outside the organization that I haven't whitelisted yet, and search for here, it's going to tell us that we can't have set up the conversation because they're not set up to talk to each other. So just be careful with that and make sure that you do turn off these uh, various settings within the admin center here and make sure you whitelist any domains, but always document why you're adding that external domain for security and compliance concerns moving forward. That's everything I want to show you new in this video today, guys. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and please like or subscribe on the YouTube channel. Thanks. Have a good one.